tries to handball it away quickly to Boltech, falls in the arms of Beck, kick was smothered and good defensive play by the Bannockburn side. <laughs> the umpire will come in, ball it up, 15, 20 metres out from the Belmont Lions goal. Three quarter time at Winchelsea. Winchelsea 11 goals, 7. North Geelong 11 goals, 5. Ooh, jeez, close one. We thought there'd be a good game out there. Mm, we'll be ringing Goulburn too later tonight if Winchelsea get up. Don't worry about that. Ball from the ruck contest. Held to Matt Graham. And it will be a ball up once again. I don't know whether Eric was watching then. I just saw that pack form there. Tom Hall ran out of the pack. And uh, if it was North Shore, he would have had that fair in the <laughs> goal square. And he, and he put his hand up and said, well, here I was there, but the ball didn't come. Well, the ball out the back of the pack now. Kick off the ground by Gad. Gains 45 metres, goes out towards Nathan Lewis, gets a shepherd, runs free on centre wing, just torpedo, punts it towards half forward, Perkins and Foran. And Perkins happy to <coughs> see it over the boundary line. And the boundary umpire will get there next Thursday because he's a long way away. The ball moved pretty quickly around to half forward. I hope those uh, boys change wings. They're twins. They're twins. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that a bit of running to do on the outer side? Today. They run pretty well, the boys, oh, but yeah, the balls move quickly at odd times. They're great boys, they're great kids. Boundary throw in, Frost up against Nalen to the front of the pack. Harrison off a step around the corner towards centre wing. Maloney bounces over his head. Beck, he's over the top of it, needs to get rid of it now. Does so, needs some help. Frost it was. His handball was smothered by Malone Grant, and it will be a boundary throw in on centre wing out of side. This is really playing into Bannockburn's hands, Laurie, isn't it? Uh, if Belmont let them keep it out there. Well, that's right. I mean, Belmont's just, just before Belmont's going to do all the score, and they've got the jump, job in front of them. So the ball from the contest in the ruck goes to Mullane Grant towards half forward. Newell. In fact, it's uh, Boltesh. Handball towards McVilly off a step at half back. Goes towards the middle. Frost runs back with the flight of the foot. He can't take the mark. Off hands through the middle of the pack. Chapman. Over the top of it as well, Mullane Grant falls to Lewis. Short little kick was intelligent towards Cameron Carr. He takes the mark, still on centre wing. Wants to move it quickly. Goes with a right foot kick towards centre half forward. On a lead, Ryan. Oh, he's worked, away, he's yeah. worked Hepworth underneath the ball to seal the game. Goal number six for Darren Ryan. Yes! Yes! <coughs> and that's number six for the coach. 13th for Bannockburn. 13 They lead the Belmont line. 7 6 48. Buckley's Entertainment Centre. Final quarter scoreboard. Three minutes played. Laurie. Do you want me to concede? No, I concede. <laughs> Gee whiz, I'll tell you what, you're holding that hope. <laughs> what about magnificent body work from Darren Ryan? Immediately at Hepworth yeah. out of the contest, that was going to be a goal. Yeah, no, look, he's put in a pearl there at the end of the day. He's, uh, his balance over the ball was fantastic, and his goal shooting, uh, what, has he kicked uh, six, six straight? straight? Yep. yep. So back in the middle with uh, the umpire, about to put the ball in the air once again. Up it goes, good tap down there by Maloney for Bannockburn, but kick forward for the Lions, almost a mark there to Carr, good uh, defensive work by Ruiz, handball comes out to Harrison, off one step, kicks it to uh, full forward, Tommy Hall, oh, oh, great mark. Gee, one handed <laughs> mark in real terms, <coughs> Stephen got a little bit stiff, slipped uh, in the contest, and uh, at least he was still able to put body on body, but Tom Hall, just a bit of poise, put the one hand up, the ball uh, sat up there for him, and uh, he's got the mark. 35 metres out, directly in front. Hasn't kicked one yet, Eric. No, he hasn't. He's kicked three behinds and he moves in now, directly in front. That's uh, about his first, I'd suggest. It's not a real bad looking kick from Tommy Hall and uh, the answering goal from Belmont Lions. They need a few more. They move to eight goals, 6.54, but they trail Bannockburn, 13.987, Buckley's Entertainment Centre, final quarter scoreboard. Four minutes gone. Yeah, they had more right in the hurry. <laughs> Uh, well, three quick ones that can bring it a light. See the isolated Tommy Hall, the only player inside 50. Yep. Yeah, what they do wrong though, a lot of these clubs, when they, when they get a free kick out there, they all they all beat the ball in there. I mean, yeah. the idea is you've got to chase the ball in after, I would have thought, but anyway. That was that was 30 years ago. I see uh, Henry Button now on Darren Ryan, oh, so uh, <laughs> Belmont conceding they've got a problem there. <laughs> yeah, I think they have. Back to the middle, Maloney and Frost. Maloney gets it down towards Carr in the middle. Gets it away towards centre-half forward, Ryan. And uh, Nail falls to Giles. Giles' little toe poke. Button gets back there first. Ryan comes in, great play. The coach holds it up. Button, can he get away? Handball to nobody in particular. The call from Foran. Wants the safety of the boundary line and gets it. He did pin for that. No. Nope. Thought yeah. about it. 
but not on this occasion. So boundary throw in right forward pocket. Panic burn into attack. The southern end of the ground. Throw in. Nailing. Takes it out of the ruck contest. Quickly to Ryan. Try to tap it onto Carr. Carr's there. Handball to Giles on his left side. Little toe poke around the corner towards Mullane Grant. Oh. And he's kicked it. So goal number four to Tom Mullane Grant. And another one for Bannockburn. They go to 14 9. 93, and they lead the Belmont Lions 8 6 54. Buckley's entertainment set up. Final quarter scoreboard. Six minutes play. Laurie, how many goals for Tom Lane? Four. 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 four, four one. Miss, I've missed one. <coughs> they just, they, you sort of just can't give a sucker an even break, can you? Like Tom Malone Grant hasn't been sighted for a quarter, and all of a sudden there he bobs up and kicks a, a most important goal for them. Yeah, that's right. You've got to, everyone's got to be accountable, but in, I mean, you can't let a player of his calibre in this uh, competition uh, free. You've got to be with them all the time, those guys. They're the, they're the ones that are going to do the damage. So the ball back in the middle again at uh, six and a half minutes into the final quarter. Answering the challenge is Bannock Burn. The ball comes down, picked up there by Clark. Off a step, goes towards half forward. Oh, good well, mark. That was uh, <laughs> a bolt uh, I think it was a, uh, an accident he marked. But a great mark in the end for the young fella. Kicks forward, looking for hands. Good defensive work. Oh, great work there by uh, Broom. He's in trouble. Uh, Peter's in trouble. <laughs> The umpire uh, is trying to give uh, the reason from a fair way away. Not too many players prepared to listen, I don't think. He said he'd get no time. <laughs> <laughs> so the ball in the centre of the ground with the umpire. Now a big pack of players around the footy as uh, Maloney gets a tap down to Carr off the left foot, hooks it towards half forward, Nolan runs on, just taps it to uh, Giles. Giles now has the lead coming from Pilgrim. Pilgrim Darrell at uh, full forward. Ball comes back to Giles. Handball out to Darren Ryan. Does a 360. Oh. Comes around on the left foot. Kick the goal. If he kicks oh. the goal, that is unbelievable. He's kicked it. Unbelievable <laughs> goal, Darren Ryan. That's his seventh. <laughs> and if ever the coach has uh, put in a performance, he's done it today, would you be right in front of the social club? They love it. <laughs> 15 goals, 9.99, Bannockburn. They lead the Belmont Lions. 8 6 54. Buckley's Entertainment Centre. Final quarter scoreboard. Eight minutes gone. Boy, that was a good performance, wasn't it? <laughs> he went left, he went right, back onto his left, and uh, he didn't oh, have much daylight there either when he slotted that through. And on the left foot, uh, if you don't mind. Yeah. I've penciled him in. Yeah, I think you might be right. Yeah, don't wait. you don't get an argument from me. <laughs> back in the middle. Maloney gets it down towards Carr, chopped off by McVilly, high kick towards half forward. And Frost put a hand up, couldn't take the mark off hands. Carr, Reese is there as well. Goes towards... Uh, Voltish, I think it is. Out there on half forward. Do you and think uh, Bellink, the Bennick Burn uh, uh, tacklings, in, they've lifted their uh, yeah. tackles? I think more tackles since half time. Yeah. So Ryan Voltish has got the free kick at half forward on the outer side. Plays on now, goes towards Carr, hands it off to McVilly in close quarters, right foot kick coach off a goal. step. Good kick, Peter McVilly. First of the afternoon for the coach. And the ninth for the Belmont Lions. They go to 9 6 60, but they trail the Bannockburn side 15 9 99. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. Nine minutes played. Yeah, that was a good uh, build up and a good uh, coach's goal as well. And, uh, you know, I think it's just a little bit uh, too little, too late, though, all the same. But uh, they've just got to run this game right out. We've, uh, we don't want, you don't want to see them just fall off. So back in the middle. Umpire foremost to put the ball in the air once again. Maloney and uh, Graham neither get a tap down. The ball, well, really a second effort from Graham. Takes the ball to half forward. Kick off the ground there by uh, Boltich. And at the full back position, Stephen Gadd. Had no qualms about that. Put the big foot into the footy. Gained 45 metres out to uh, the centre wing. Ball, well, it's uh, neither, neither of the players can pick it up. And finally, the umpire believes he'll take control and uh, put the ball in the air between wing and half forward out of side here at Victoria Park at the 10 minute mark of the final quarter. Again, a lot of players around the football as uh, ball picked up there by Wood, goes to half forward, good punch forward by the uh, event. Oh, Cameron Carr has done well in the middle of the ground but uh, comes back to Dunlop on the left foot, kicks to half forward Beck, good body work, uh, uses the body to shield hands, handball over to McVilly, McVilly to uh, half forward, Frost 
Falling backwards, can't take the mark. It's uh, taken by Christian Shaw. Hooks it back to the middle of the ground. Great mark there by uh, Broom. Plays on quickly. Heads for uh, Darren Ryan. Oh, beautiful pick up, Ryan. Handball over the top to Lewis. Oh, back yeah. to Ryan. He goes Coming again. around the boundary. He's had a pot shot. Uh, He's going to kick it to the head of the goal square. Oh, almost a, a mark back there from uh, Perkins. Woods does well to uh, keep the ball in play for Bannockburn. But finally, Mills it is for Belmont Lions. Gets it back to halfback flank to go. Oh, the ball didn't bounce too kindly for Tom Malone Grant on that occasion and uh, instead of bouncing to his arms, bounced away from him and over the boundary line. So out of bounds, a little bit of relief for the Belmont Lions temporarily as the ball is on half forward flank, out of side for the Bannockburn side, kicking to the southern end in this final quarter. From behind, Cameron Carr gets the big punch forward for Bannockburn, Harrison runs onto the footy, well scooped it straight toward the boundary and the umpire has agreed that uh, is not within the rules. The free kick uh, has gone to the Bannockburn side. Clark will be the recipient with uh, Harrison on the mark at about the 50 metre arc there as we wait. To, uh, the ball is uh, under one of the cars. One of the young fellows picks it up, hands it to uh, Alistair Woods, who in turn gives it back to uh, Damien Clark. So Clark now decides to play on. The players running into the forward line, very congested, kicks it long. At the back, Perkins, or oh, kick off the ground there by, uh, it was the Darrell Pilgrim, I think, and uh, the ball is forced toward the boundary line with about 20 players around the football, 10 metres from the behind post for Bannockburn. Kicking to the southern end in this final quarter <coughs> with the game reasonably in their control as the boundary umpire puts it in. Nalan, tap to the back, kick off the ground there by Graham. Gets uh, 35, 40 metres for his team. Coming back onto the football there is Malone Grant. Darren Ryan's in there trying to push the ball clear. The umpire surely will blow the whistle. He does. And the ball on the 50 metre arc will be uh, put in the air. And the players have a bit of trouble disengaging themselves sometimes in some of these little scuffles. But the ball is in the air now. Graham, big tap forward, but uh, only as far there as uh, Woods hooks it around the body. Mark not taken by Mills. It's all Belmont lines there, but they're making a bit of a hash of it as the... Uh, Bannockburn players come in, Ryan could have been infringed on that occasion, not so, and 25 metres out directly in front of the Bannockburn goal, the umpire has called for the footy and will put it in the air, 13 minutes gone, final quarter, and uh, the umpire puts the ball in the air, Nalan over the top there, Graham to Harrison, hooks it back to the middle, little uh, chip for uh, the Bannockburn side is... Uh, the free kick has gone to the man in the middle of three yeah, there. Yeah. I can't work that one out, but uh, the umpire seems to have it uh, under control as uh, Pickett kicks towards half forward, running with the flight of the footy. Frost takes the mark off a step, kicks it towards the full forward position. Oh, far too quick, young Dillon. And uh, oh. oh, that's surely going to be kicked down the ground. The oh. ball has landed just, well, it stayed inside the field of play. But Dillon now kicks the ball to half forward. Just back on the ground is uh, the drone up and Shane Andrews off his hands. The ball is uh, over the boundary line. So uh, and Daniel, Daniel Beck a little frustrated, I think, mm. as the ball thrown in front of the change rooms here. Graham tap forward to Harrison. Handball to Pickett. Oh, Great terrific smother. smother there by uh, young Dillon. And the ball flipped forward. I think that was pretty deliberate too, but on the blind side of the umpire by... Uh, Young Woods and uh, old head on the shoulders. Woods at uh, 14 and a half minutes final quarter, 15-9, plays 9-6, Bannockburn in control. Boundary throw in, Graham gets it to the back of the pack, Harrison runs through, McVilly. Kick back towards uh, half-back, Malone Grant does well and a torpedo punt to centre-half forward, long lead. Ryan comes out, can't take the mark. Off hands, Lewis is there also. Mills kept his feet. Good tackle. Ryan again, kick off the ground by Mills. Goes towards centre wing. Frost sits and waits for it. It's okay. Got a bit of time now. Kick was, uh, well, interesting. <laughs> Back to the middle of the uh, ground, but Tom Malone Grant takes the mark. So, turnover could be costly for the Lions. Malone Grant goes towards Andrews. Punched away towards the front by. Uh, Kicked by Woods, goes towards the goal square, and Perkins and Foran see it through for one behind to Bannockburn. So they go to 15, 10, 100, and they lead the Belmont Lions 9, 6, 60. That's on the Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard, 15 minutes played. So Mills looking to uh, bring the ball in quickly for uh, the Lions. 
Now he's uh, undecided. Decides to go short. The lead out there is from Button, who uh, takes the mark ahead of Darren Ryan on that occasion. Button now chips the ball back into the corridor to uh, nobody in particular. Andrews attacks the foot. He runs inside 50 on the run Red on the butter. left foot. Red they don't butter. miss those. And, uh, that's Shane Andrews, third for the day. Hasn't had a lot of touches, but uh, three goals, a reasonable return. 16 goals, 10, 106, Bannockburn. They lead Belmont Lions, 9, 6, 60, Buckley's Entertainment Centre. Final quarter scoreboard, 16 minutes gone. Yeah, well, Henry uh, didn't, it was the wrong option then. And he, uh, if he was going to go in board, he had to go in uh, directly to a man. And he uh, went in there and uh, was t just turned it over straight to Shane Andrews. Had, uh, Fair distance of run, and when he winds up, he can put the book away. He doesn't miss them. So back to the middle. Frost up against Maloney. Umpire throws the ball in the air. Frost gets it down, only as far as Lewis. Got a kick away towards Giles, running off half forward. Over the back, Finlay will have Hepworth in support as well at half back. Finlay doesn't keep his feet though. Giles kicking in danger. And a free kick at half back for the Lions to Finlay. He at least held it up, didn't he? <coughs> Did. Now a kick wide to hands. They don't want to be wide though. Tries to bring it back in now to centre half forward. Clinton Shaw from behind over the back. Carr needs some support. Handball to Harvey on his bootstraps. Has to pick it up, does well. Then a left foot kick from 50 out. And I think Beck might have touched that through for one behind for the Lions. So they go to 9 7 61. And they trial Bannockburn 16 10, 106 Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard, 17 minutes played. So Aaron Broom to kick in once again for Bannockburn, has uh, Dylan short, takes the mark and runs away quickly, runs to halfback flank, kicks long toward the centre to uh, Shaw at the back of the pack, the ball falls clear, picked up by Christian Shaw, runs uh, inside 50, the lead has come from full forward from Perkins, drops the mark. Ball comes to ground. Giles can't control the footy. Picks it up. Tries to get it clear. Gee whiz. Uh, finally with sheer strength. Picks it up. Runs uh, around. Kicks it to the goal square. But Mills takes the mark. For, takes the <laughs> footy. Gets it to centre wing. Woods. Good uh, attempted mark. Almost uh, trips over. Gets it to Shaw. He's, uh, he's in trouble. Chapman intercepts the hand pass for Belmont Lions. He doesn't know where to go. Handball back to Hall. Hall now chips the ball forward. Looking for... Uh, that hands running through the middle on the left foot. Oh, that is unbelievable. So, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. so it's it's a downfield penalty to explain it. The two players collided after the kick, just side for side, and the umpires claimed he was uh, knocked after he kicked the footy. So, uh, the ensuing free kick has gone to Julian Carr. Um, the man on the mark is now 40 metres from goal. And Carr, the opportunity to uh, put a little bit of saving grace on the scoreboard for the Belmont Lions. So Carr now moves in. Not a bad looking kick off the boot. Oh, in fact, very a very good, good kick right through the middle. It is Julian Carr's third goal for the day. And it is the 10th for the Belmont Lions. 10 7 67. But they trail Bannockburn 16 10 106. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard, 19 minutes gone. Score, oh. score out of 10 for the umpires lost <coughs> today? Uh, six. I think you've been kind. Captain Generous. Could be people listening. Well, there probably is. You yeah, can say what you think. What, what's your score? Two. I might be generous, give them three. <laughs> I, I'm not generous today. I'm too cold. Back in the middle. Hall gets it away towards half forward. McPhilly. Can he pick it up? Yes, he can. Gets around Gad. Right foot kick back towards the corridor. Well, in fact, it's high in the pocket. Beck. Off hands kick. McPhilly into the goal square and has put it through for one behind. So they go to 10 8 68. The Belmont Lions. Bannockburn 16 10 106. Buckley's at a time. It's in a final quarter scoreboard. 20 minutes played. So Broom, once again gone to the uh, zone defence decides to kick long towards the uh, change room side, not a good option I wouldn't have thought but Woods does well for him ball comes to uh, Grant, off hands short, tackle so it was uh, hands trying to get clear but a fantastic uh, tackle on that occasion by uh, Matt Dillon once again has uh, kept the ball there on the half forward flank 
Graham gets a tap at the back to Hands. Hands off the left foot for the Lions. Tries to kick it forward. Leading in the race for the footy there is Furman. Does well. Doesn't uh, do too well there, but finally uh, recovers it. Nice little chip over the top to uh, Nathan Lewis. Can't take the mark ahead of Frost, but finally gets around on the left foot. The lead out wide is from Darren Ryan. Gets to the football. Picks it up. Has uh, plenty of time. Henry Button looks to be zoning off him. It's almost a... Uh, a, oh. a basketball <laughs> and uh, Darren Ryan, wonderful use of the footy, has kicked it back into the uh, corridor. Clark running down from the centre as he took the mark, slipped in a wet spot, I'd suggest, and uh, landed uh -oh. his oh, in his trouble. Handball, well, that's uh. a magnificent <laughs> kick from uh, Darren Ryan, and I tell you what, he's lucky to be still standing because uh, it would have been another kick, I'd reckon, if that, that had hit. But uh, goal number eight to Darren Ryan, fantastic performance by the coach. The 17th for the Bannockburn side. 17-10, 112 Bannockburn. They lead Belmont Lions 10-8-68. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. 21 minutes gone. Boy, I can't believe the guys kick seven goals. The guy takes a mark and, he, and they let him run past him. I mean, who are you going to give it to? And mind you, he's kicked eight straight. Yeah, does well. <laughs> Might need that spa too, we were talking about, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. Back in the middle, Maloney. Getting it down, Frost. Comes back towards Frost. Lewis wraps him up. And the umpire will come in, secondary bounce. 22 minutes played, final term. So not far away from the final siren. And we'll have the final siren thanks to Australian Trader Pine, our wrap of the day in football at the conclusion of our match day coverage. From the ruck contest, Harrison got it down towards Hall. Goes to the right foot, back towards centre-half forward. McVillie on a lead. Can't take the mark. Second effort. Broom was in there as well. Got the handball away. And pack develops. Just outside 50. And we'll have a ball up. Damien Clark hands the ball back to the umpire. Ball up now. Graham and Maloney. Graham gets it down. Free kick for a hold somewhere in there and <laughs> going to Bannockburn. It'll be Damien Clark with it. So from centre half back, drills the ball towards Andrews. Ooh. Handball, missed its target, which was Woods. Good enough though to pick it up, handball it away to Rees, off a step over his shoulder, still in the middle of the ground. Malone Grant goes up, <laughs> takes the chest mark, does well, handballs it off quickly to Dillon, runs through the middle, now right foot kick towards the leader, Pilgrim, stands his ground, can't take the mark, Well, oh, watch out, Ryan out. runs in 20 metres out and has Shh. kicked another one, Shut. nine for the afternoon for Darren Ryan. And nine of 18. Gee whiz, wouldn't have nine in his <laughs> life, I wouldn't reckon. He doesn't usually play. He hasn't played forward much, no, has he? No. But uh, where would he play? North Shore wing or defence? Yeah, half back flank. Half back flank. Yeah. <laughs> He's kicked nine this afternoon, and Bannockburn go to 18-10, 118. Well, Casey stuffed his career up. <laughs> and the Belmont Lions 10 8 68 Buckley's at a David Centre final quarter scoreboard. 24 minutes played. Well, I suppose the the, the, the sounds echoing round the ground there. Can he kick ten? Oh, I'll tell you what, if it gets within a metre of him, I'll put him down. <laughs> ball back in the middle with uh, the umpire at the 24-minute mark of the final quarter. The ball about to go in the air once again. Stephen Gadd in the middle now, but uh, Maloney against uh, Frost. The ball comes clear back to Frost. Gets a kick on the right foot to half forward. <coughs> Beck takes, oh, great tackle. But Beck eludes the tackle, gets the ball to half forward. Shaw, oh, oh. terrible kick there from uh, Come off. Clinton Shaw. Helped out by uh, oh. great work, uh, Christian Shaw, uh -oh. half forward, and Henry Button <laughs> spoiled the mark on that occasion. Woods runs back for the footy. Oh, nice oh. little flick back from Woods. Uh -oh. Picked up by uh, Darren <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Kicks it into the corridor. Player uh, Tom Malone Grant slipped over on that occasion. Ball comes back to Ruiz, a long way up from centre half back. He's had a pot shot and has kicked it. Kicked it behind. So. Uh, Another behind to the Bannockburn side. 18, 11, 119. They lead uh, the Belmont Lions 10, 8, 68. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. 25 minutes now gone. Mills kicks into Pickett at half back. Goes to centre wing. Harrison 30 in line. Can't take the mark. Dillon surrounded by Lions. 
Finlay wraps him up. He got the handball away though towards Clark. Shaw in there as well. Keeps his feet. Clark. Kick for kicking in danger. And it will be a free kick to Bannockburn. So Christian Shaw on centre wing. Goes long towards half forward. In front. Punched away from Pilgrim. Hall handballs it away to hands, runs through half back, goes towards half forward. Beck up against Hinchcliffe, takes well mark. overhead, takes the mark, handballs it off to Chapman who runs past. Hinchcliffe on his hammer, goes with the outside of the right boot towards McVillie, he takes the mark. Plays, oh, thought Ooh, about no. playing it to Harrison. He <laughs> <laughs> likes to go back and line up for goal from 35 metres out. Slight angle. He was gonna, he was gonna lay it off. <laughs> he was, he saw Michael Harrison running into space. But he elected to go back and have a set shot. He's kicked one goal one this afternoon, Peter McBilly. So going for his second of the afternoon, the 11th for the Belmont Lions. He comes in. He's pretty good off the boot. Straight through the middle for his second. And the Belmont Lions go to 11 8 74, but they trail Bannockburn 18 11 119. Buckley's in a time and set a final quarter scoreboard. 26 and a half, and it's played. It did perhaps think the sting would have gone out of the game, Laurie, but uh, players are still running pretty hard at the footy, pretty hard at the fella carrying the footy, and that's uh, a good thing to see for, for teams who are contending to play in the finals. Well, the, the contest at the, at, at the footy has been a four-quarter contest. Sometimes you, you'll get a hard quarter or a hard half, and uh, intensity drops off if they've been very, very hard, and uh, credit to both sides. So in the middle, it's uh, tapped down by Frost again, running at the footy was uh, Broom, left it behind, however. Dylan missed it. Clinton Shaw tried to kick off the ground. It's very, very scrappy at uh, half forward there now. And uh, really, it's a rugby scrum for Belmont Lions taking the ball forward. Player grabbed around the head. Finally, the umpire will put a whistle on play. And uh, inside the 50 metre arc, about 40 metres directly in front of the uh, Belmont Lions goal, the umpire will put the ball in the air once again. They're almost lining up like a rugby, rugby scrum. Two lines opposite one another. The ball. Nice tap back by Maloney, does the uh, roving himself, does well. Kicks it uh, forward, toward Malone Grant, does well. Eludes it, the opponent, gets it up, uh, by hand to uh, Lewis. Lewis on the left foot, Giles. looking for, and uh, Giles has uh, He's come Ryan there, ahead, of, ahead of his opponent, and Darren Ryan's just uh, telling him to settle down. Don't hand ball to me, uh, see. And kick the goal. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Robbie Giles, more noted uh, as a defender. It's about to uh, have a shot on goal with uh, the man on the mark, 40 metres out directly in front. Giles now moves in. It's a defender's kick. It's going to uh, almost uh, touch the mark to Tom Malone oh, Grant. Yeah. Surely the uh, Belmont Lions play as well. Malone it's Grant good. runs around and hooks it around for a behind. So uh, good, quick thinking on his part, but unfortunately didn't get the desired result. 18-12, 120. Bannockburn lead the Belmont Lions 11 8 74. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard 28 and a half minutes gone. He was a bit slack there, Tommy. He had to kick the goal. He could give him five goals. He might have got the trophy. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Kick in by Mills. Goes <laughs> looking for more. Now, Malone Grant handballs it off towards Woods. Gives it back towards Lewis. Runs inside. 25 metres out. Shakes the game. The goal. So through for. Nathan Lewis's first goal of the afternoon. And the 19th for Bannockburn. They go to 19 12, 126. And they lead the Belmont Lions 11 8 74. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard 29 minutes played. Well, one good thing about Bannockburn, Laurie, they're, they're certainly playing the game right out. And uh, for a side that allegedly hasn't been in the best of form, I think they've shown a bit today. Oh, they have. They, they certainly have. They've, uh, well, it makes a difference when you've got your captain and coach kicking uh, nine goals. That, that, that certainly, uh, he's finished beautifully, of course, and uh, that makes a difference to your team. So back in the middle with uh, the umpire to put the ball in the air, young uh, Maloney and Frost. Maloney tapped down, Lewis went without the footy. <coughs> What's the umpire's put a whistle on play? I don't know for why. The freak kick, kick has gone to Lewis. Kicking in danger, I think. Was it? Mm -hmm. So uh, Lewis of Bannockburn now runs uh, with the umpire as a shield for the man on the mark. Lewis kicks to half forward. Big pack of players there. Comes to ground. Hepworth first onto the footy. Picks it up on the left foot. Hooks it around. Finds Harrison. He's tackled immediately. Gets a handball clear. 
and uh, well the ball came back to Harrison somehow and uh, he's underneath the ball is underneath him with uh, Nathan Lewis tackling immediately and uh, the umpires call for the whistle center wing at the 30 minute mark of the final quarter umpire well he's, it was about to put the ball in the air I think he suddenly realized he had nowhere to go going backwards so <laughs> discretion the better part of valor oh Clark just sheer strength Got the tap down there, kicks towards uh, Pilgrim, Darrell, running Ryan. through Darren Ryan, can't pick the footy up. He's, uh, well, put just about over the fence there by uh, his opponent in Ben Finlay, and the boundary umpire said, I'll have it. And in front of the social club here at Victoria Park, starting to get quite dark, the ball comes back into play again. Andrews doing the ruck work, down to uh, Ryan. Hooks it around, well, almost uh, after he kicked the footy, but he's kicked it straight to his former teammate in Tommy Hall, 25 metres out from goal in defence for Belmont Lions. Decides to go wide, gets a call out there from uh, Glenn Frost. Frost takes the mark, has Hepworth running past, handballs wide to him. Hepworth, the kick out to uh, <coughs> Daniel Beck, and Beck for Belmont Lions, takes the mark on centre wing, comes around on the favoured left foot, hooks towards half forward. All Bannockburn back there has... Uh, that's Dylan, has the bounce, played well on the half-back flank, has the lead there from uh, Woods. Woods takes the mark, decides to go on the left foot now, hooks it towards half-forward. Clinton Shaw didn't really go for the mark, but he's going to almost end up with a footy. No, good work more, a bit of strength. Kicks it on the left foot, back to the middle. Frost, handball to Boltech. He gets the ball to the lead at half forward and Peter McBilly takes the uh, chest mark. He's got Harrison streaming back to the goal square, takes the mark, decides to uh, turn around and missed has missed from five metres out. You are joking. So uh, <coughs> I guess that's the story of the Belmont Lions, Dave. Can't win guys doing that sort of thing. 11 9 75 as the siren sounds here at Victoria Park, Bannockburn. The final score shows Bannockburn, the home side, 19 goals, 12, 126, have defeated the Belmont Lions, 11 goals, 9, 75. Seven goals, three to Bannockburn in that final term, while uh, Belmont Lions managed four goals, three, and the margin in the end for Bannockburn was 51 points. Nine goals there, coach Darren Ryan, four to Tom Malone Grant, three to Shane Andrews and singles to Alistair Woods, Peter Maloney and Nathan Lewis. Well, for the Belmont Lions, three to Julian Carr, two to Mark Four and two to Peter McVilly and singles to Daniel Beck, Tom Hall, Ryan Boltish and Michael Harrison. But it was 19-12, 126 Bannockburn. They defeated the Belmont Lions 11-9-75 in our round 15 match day live coverage this afternoon. We'll take a break when we, when we come back. We'll have the final sorry thanks to Australian Trader Pine. We'll have our Carrington Hotel Player of the Day, a wrap of the day in football, and a look ahead to next weekend's Round 16 clashes. You're listening to 94.7 The Pulse, your home of local football.